What's good everybody, it's Vaughn. And you know, this is where you get that knowledge that you don't get in college. You already know you gotta scroll down to the description below, click the link next to Weeble, and collect them 12 free stocks. Told y'all already. So if you're scared, then I might just go ahead and get ready. So today I'm gonna tell you what you need to know about Amazon FBA. Because I've been seeing a lot of people marketing, oh, you can make money selling on Amazon. Well, I'm here to tell you the truth. So if you don't already know, I was selling on Amazon for about three years and then my account got shut down. And I'm gonna explain all of that to you later on in the video. For those that don't know, I want to explain to you exactly what Amazon FBA is. FBA stands for Fulfillment by Amazon. What that simply means is that you are a third party seller and you ship your products to Amazon. They store it at their warehouse. Whenever you get an order through Amazon's website, they will fulfill the order for you and they'll handle the customer service. They'll handle the returns and things of that nature, but it all comes at a cost. FBA means Fulfillment by Amazon. FBM means Fulfillment by Merchant. Fulfillment by Merchant is when you're shipping the products to the customer yourself but you're still selling the product through Amazon's website and you have to pay for the shipping you have to handle the customer service you have to do everything when it comes to that you have to do a lot more work but we're gonna talk about FBA when it comes to FBA there's four ways to do FBA there's private label so private label is when you when you create your own brand you order the, the product from China or wherever you find your suppliers when you're doing private label you're able to get the product for dirt cheap you're creating your own brand you're creating your own listing and when it comes to private label you have to do all of your marketing yourself because it's your own product your own listing and majority of the time you're going to be the only one selling that product retail arbitrage retail arbitrage is when you go into a, a physical store like Walmart TJ Maxx Ross or Home Depot and you find products that are on sale you would typically use an app to scan the product to see if the product would be profitable when you sell it online you purchase the product from the retail store and then you would go ahead and ship it to Amazon and then they would process the sale for you or you could do that FBM as well online arbitrage online arbitrage is essentially the same thing as retail arbitrage but instead you're going to the online stores like walgreens.com walmart.com tjmax.com marshalls.com ross.com and you're finding profitable products there and then you're purchasing them from their website and then you're shipping them to Amazon and they're fulfilling the orders. Wholesaling. Wholesale is when you're opening up an account with a brand or a supplier. So there can be big suppliers that sell specific brands and you look through their catalog and see what products would be profitable for you to sell in your storefront and then you order them in bulk you ship them to Amazon and Amazon fulfills the order or you can create an account with a specific brand like Sony Toshiba or some of the smaller brands like I had an account with Office Depot and I was selling one of their products I would purchase them from Office Depot in bulk then I would ship them to Amazon and they would fulfill the order for me actually i have one of my products right here so this is one of the products that i was selling on amazon and i was making hundreds of thousands of dollars off of selling these products it was just simply pens majority of the products that i was selling were pens and dividers and things of that nature when i started off my amazon store in 2018 i started off doing private label my first product was a garden hose nozzle i did my research and i found a manufacturer in china through alibaba and i ordered garden hose nozzles because i saw that that was a category where products were selling i ordered my first batch and the products just sold organic Organically. That process for me at that time required too much work because I was doing private label but on the side I would also do retail arbitrage and I was able to sell more doing retail arbitrage than I was able to do private label so I started to shift. When I started to pivot my strategy started to more so focus on wholesaling because I wanted to have a business where it wasn't requiring too much of my physical energy where I could just order the products, ship them to Amazon and the products would just keep selling, they'll keep selling, they'll keep selling and all I would have to do was respond to customers if they sent a message but if they were to call then Amazon would be dealing with that. That was going good for quite some time until I started selling a TLC product, Total Life Changes, they have the tea bags and Nutriburst bottles. I was selling 
selling those products for about six months. When I started selling those products, the chief operating officer gave me approval to sell the products. And then that company got approved into Amazon's brand registry. And when that happened, they started kicking everyone off their listing. But since I got approval from the chief operating officer, I thought it was fine for me to continue selling. I even reached out to them and let them know that I got approval by the chief operating officer, but I didn't get it in writing. So if you're going to sell on Amazon, make sure your I's are dotted and your T's are crossed because documentation will beat conversation. It will save your in many situations. So that's something that I want you to know if you decide to um, sell on Amazon because what had happened was when they got approved into Amazon's brand registry, the company removed all of the third party sellers from their listing. I was one of them. They took me off the listing. I sent Amazon the invoice letting them know that I'm selling authentic products and I'm purchasing them directly from the brand. They opened back my account so that I could sell that product on the listing. Then the brand went ahead and submitted a another IP claim. I sent the invoice back to Amazon. They submitted another IP claim. And because they did it so many times, Amazon just deactivated my account. When it comes to your account getting deactivated with Amazon, they are terrible. You don't have the ability to talk to anyone on the phone that can help you. You can call their customer service, but they're going to tell you that you have to complete a plan of action. I completed a plan of action letting them know that I've deactivated the listing and I won't sell the product anymore because I didn't have to sell those products. I still had a bunch of pens that I, I wanted to sell. The only reason why I continue to sell those products is because the company had just had a sale where they're having buy one, get one free. And I just wanted to sell out of my product so that I could just be done with that company and move forward. But it turns out that I would have been better off if I would have just deactivated the listing one day, submitted an IP claim the first time, or took my listing down got the situation resolved with the company and then relisted my product if they gave me the approval in addition to that I should have gotten in writing that the chief operating officer said that I have the ability to um, sell that product online I submitted a plan of action it gets to a point where if you submit too many plan of actions they will just stop reading your plan of actions like they won't even respond to you anymore and it's very difficult for you to deal with them because these are people that are overseas and it didn't even seem like they were reading my plan of action to begin with. And on top of that, they're holding over $4,000 worth of funds that I had made and they're not gonna release those funds until I get my account reactivated. I thought this was something that only happened to me, but I have a few friends that have also gotten their accounts deactivated and Amazon's e holding even more money for them. That's one thing that you need to be mindful of. But I also want you to understand that the numbers that these people are marketing to you are the gross numbers. So they may say they have a seven figure Amazon store, but that's the gross number. You have to take into account the cost of the product, the Amazon fees, the taxes, marketing if you are marketing, but if you're doing wholesale, you're not gonna really have that much marketing. If you're going to look at the most profitable selling strategies, it'll probably be private label. It's gonna be the most profitable, also require a lot of work. Retail arbitrage and online arbitrage arbitrage depending on the price you're able to get the products at and then wholesale it requires the least amount of physical work and time but the way that you make your money with wholesale is through volume so if you find a profitable product you could sell 30 to 40 items in one day and that can make up for you selling the two items that you got in retail arbitrage or uh, online arbitrage off of these pens I was selling them for I was selling them for 20 Twenty dollars, but I was buying them for eleven dollars, and then I had to pay the Amazon fee of about seven dollars. So I was making like two dollars per unit, but I wasn't using any of my own money. So I was basically just printing money by selling. Them. These would sell like they sell consistently. I multiplied the two dollars by thirty or forty that I could sell in a day. There were days where I'd make like thousand dollars a day, but that's gross. That's that's what you have to understand. So that big number that they're telling you, especially if they're talking about wholesale, you have to look at about 10% of that. If they're making 
making a hundred thousand they're probably taking home ten thousand dollars that's after all of the expenses are paid amazon gets their money the company that they're they're buying the product from gets their money the state gets their taxes and then you're gonna have to pay taxes at the end of the year on that too so you have to account for that as well you have sales tax that you have federal tax and depending on the state that you're in you may have state taxes too so these are just some things that you should consider many people who are selling on amazon or marketing these courses aren't explaining to you but i just wanted to let you know my experience of selling on amazon and some of the headaches that come with it i want to let you know that there is an opportunity to grow and scale a business with amazon however i want you to know that it's not something that's forever and it's technically not really a business you're not really a business owner when you're selling on amazon but you get all of the benefits of a business so it's a good way to get started in business and generate capital but once you get that capital your profit should not be wasted you shouldn't be using that money to just go splurge and buy clothes or go on vacation and stuff like that i was taking a lot of trips but i'll be using the reward points that i would accumulate from the spend of my credit card and i would use that to take trips so i wasn't really spending my money on trips and stuff like that i was more so investing my money investing my capital uh, saving my capital so that i could buy a house and, and, and do things like that if you're going to start amazon it should be a stepping stone for you to create a foundation so that when that income stream stops you have other income streams that are continuing to generate income so if you're going to get into amazon make sure you go through the policy and you understand exactly what you're getting yourself into and when you make your profit take that profit and invest that profit so that if amazon stops working you now have another vehicle that is generating income and you can continue to grow and live a better lifestyle because there's a million ways to get it so you just gotta choose if you have any other questions go ahead comment in the description below and if you like this video go ahead and like share and subscribe to my channel don't forget to click the notification button so that you get notified every time that i share a new video but until next time